All right, I'm super excited to get started with this course. And in order to be able to progress most efficiently, it's a really good idea to get your feet grounded with understanding how a transactional database works. And uh, in this course, we're gonna be working as part of a fictional bike sales company. Um, we're a manufacturer of bicycles. We sell to bike shops and we produce bikes. Those are our products. And this is a database that has a data model that describes how these transactions occur. And this is where we're going to be commonly uh, using it as a data scientist when we're analyzing transactions. So it doesn't matter if you work for an organization that is not a bicycle manufacturer. Normally, most organizations have some sort of transactional database, and this is kind of how they work. So um, how a transactional database works? you have several tables and those tables are all connected. So uh, the most important one is actually the, the transactions themselves because that contains specifically, it's normally a timestamp database. Uh, it'll have an order date um, and, and this will match your products and customers to the transactions that are occurring. So um, if you look into it, you'll see things like primary keys where you've got an order line, an order ID. Um, each order ID may have multiple order lines and that's denoted here um, in this diagram by a one-to-many relationship. So uh, think about it like this, customer A walks into your store, buys you know several different items. Each of those items that they purchase are part of that order, but they go onto a line. So each of them are line items. And then that order itself is the, uh, is the total order. And that can be aggregated by, you know, the quantity that they're purchasing and the price that they're paying for them. So uh, that's, that's basically how transactions database works. Those order lines are again, the most important, but they connect to more information. So for example, the orders connect to customers, which are our bike shops. And that bike shops table has uh, a, a one to many relationships. There are only so many bike shops that are buying from us. So we might have 10 customers or hundred customers, um, but they might be repeat customers and so on. So there's a one to many relationship between those bike shops and uh, the orders that are being produced. Then uh, the same thing goes for our bikes. We only have so many bicycles that we manufacture. You know, we may have a very large database of hundreds or thousands of, of products, but there's only so many of those products that customers will buy from us. And that, uh, and that database of products normally contains things like a description field, maybe attributes about those products, like the price, uh, the, you know, the sale price and, and so on. So um, that's basically how it works. And we're going to be using these three tables uh, to not first, kind of wrangle the data and, and join all these tables together into one meta table. Uh, but we're also going to be creating a database for ourselves that uh, follows this data model as well. So it's very important to, uh, to become accustomed to this. And don't worry, um, as you go through the course, you'll learn more and more about transactional data.